This is a demonstration of curve fitting using linear regression, polynomials, uh, linear splines, and cubic splines. This is running under uh, ordinary R, not using RStudio, using the script demo spline.r, which is in our GitHub R scripts project. Uh, if you run this under RStudio, it will work fine, except for the points that you click will only be visible for an instant uh, while you're inputting the data. So we're going to start with uh, a situation uh, where we input data points that has have a very linear-looking relationship. This should not be very hard to fit using any method. So using... Um, plain R, I right click to terminate entry and then I'm going to click the knots um, with a left click and right click to finish that. The knots are the join points for the spline functions where they're allowed to change curvature. So we see uh, four different ways of fitting these points using least squares ordinary regression. The linear fit is in black it has one degree of freedom because there's a single slope to estimate. Uh, the linear spline has four degrees of freedom because it starts out with a straight line and then it's allowed to change slope, which you can see it, it does just a little. You see a hint of red here. And then it can change slope again, change slope again. So those three slope changes combined with the original slope to give you four parameters required to fit the curve or four degrees of freedom. The quartic polynomial is in green. It's in the middle of all these others. It also requires four coefficients. Um, and then the restricted cubic spline function in blue, it requires only two parameters or two degrees of freedom because there is a single nonlinear term and a single um, um, linear term in the model. So one of each type. Um, and so the fits are good for everything. So now we're going to left click in here to start over and let's click some points that look a little uh, quadratic so we're going to have some curvature and I'm going to place knots here here and here so now we see the straight line fit is not going to be very satisfactory for fitting this curve so it's going to have a maxim, maximum predictor, prediction error in here and it, at the extremes. The linear spline function is uh, fitting very well overall. It's uh, allowed to change slope here, but it really did not need to. It's allowed to change slope here, which it did need to. And it's allowed to change slope here at the third knot, which it needed to. So that allows it to really follow the data. Uh, the only thing bad about the fit is the, the appearance of elbows versus a truly smooth curve. Quartic polynomial is a, a smooth fourth order equation and it is fitting very well to this set of data. The restricted cubic spline is in blue and it is underfitting a little bit here. It, it's a little too low and it's a little too high in here and it's right at the end but that's only fitting uh, two parameters and it's allowing the curvature to change at these three locations. So let's uh, see if we can improve on that fit a little bit by having an extra knot in the fit. So we're going to start a new set of points, try to look a little bit like like the past one. So we're going to put four knots now. And I should have put um, the last two knots closer to where the action is, although you ordinarily you may not know that. But you can see the linear fit is very poor. Uh, the linear spline is a very good fit. The quartic polynomial in green is also a good fit, and the restricted cubic spline in blue, um, a little bit of uh, dipping down here, but otherwise it has a better fit than the restricted cubic spline that only had 
uh, uh, three knots. So let's type in some data that has a little bit more um, challenge to it. So we're going to have data that goes up rapidly and back down and then it starts coming back up again. So when we uh, choose the knots, if I were to choose four knots, say at these locations, uh, you can see the straight line field is really terrible. Uh, linear spline with four knots is um, not very good because the first knot it waited too long um, and then we're smoothing things out over here and missing these points doing a good job over here because of where the knots happen to be uh, one aspect of linear splines is the placement of the knots is pretty critical and the restricted cubic spline is a lot more robust to where you place the knots the quartic polynomial is unable to go up this fast and and it also misses these points and it does a good job over here but it can't start out this low and rise that fast the restricted cubic spline with four knots is in blue a little bit of missing here a little bit of missing here and pretty good at the end so let's fit um, another complex data set, uh, but let's use uh, more knots. So we're going to have a rapid rise and a fall and then a slowly accelerating rate of rising over here. So we're going to put, uh, let's see how many knots. We're going to put three knots over here and three knots over there. So we've got six knots. We can see a bad straight line fit. We have a pretty good linear spline, but it's going to have sharp elbows on it because of the nature of the linear spline. The quartic polynomial can't rise that fast, and then it misses out over here, and it's good on the right. The restricted cubic spline is able to rise pretty rapidly there because we are putting a knot here and a knot here and then it is able to uh, fall and it has a little bit of over uh, compensation there but overall is very good. So you can see with six knots you can fit a very complex shape um, and the um, polynomial is not able to do that. So let's do something that looks like an asymptote. So we're going to have a pretty rapid rise here. And then we're going to have a leveling off. We'll put some, let's put four knots. So we can see that the cubic polynomial, the um, quartic polynomial in green overall is a reasonable fit. It's going up here, but the nature of regular polynomials that are not segmented um, is that that green polynomial will ultimately diverge far to the right and it will go way off. Uh, the cubic spline. Um, the restricted cubic spline is forced to be linear forever to the left of the first point, so this is perfectly straight. And to the right of the last knot, this is a perfectly straight line, so it will continue perfectly straight forever. And you see with a uh, four knot fit, uh, we had a little overcompensation here, but we're able to fit in total uh, a curve that has at asymptote here. Uh, fairly well. We'll consider one more example which might be 
a complex uh, time response profile. So we have some rapid changes coming in cycles. And let's add some noise. So we're can't fit everything. We're looking for trends that go through the noise. And now we're going to put uh, many knots here. I've put eight knots in all. So uh, with a complex trend like that, the linear spline function um, is the red and it is um, it's doing fairly well. It's able to go up very rapidly, but it overshoots here. The cortic polynomial is not going to be flexible enough to fit these three humps, and you see it's going to smooth out these humps. It's a very poor fit. The restricted cubic spline with um, eight knots, it has seven parameters, seven degrees of freedom. Okay, that's the blue going this way and you see blue is tracking very well and is able to fit a very complex uh, curve as you might see in a complicated time response.